In just a few moments, I am going to show you how you can completely automate generating quotes and posts on your Instagram profile for your healthcare business or whatever other business you have. This is using just a few tools, very simply, and you're going to be amazed at how quick and easy this is and how you can get great quotes looking fantastic on your Instagram profile in just a few moments. So let's dive right into it. We're going to be using a couple of key tools today. The first one is actually going to be ChatGPT. So let's move right over to ChatGPT and we're going to have Chat help us out here with some quotes. I'm going to simply type in, please come up with 30 quotes that are related to non-surgical aesthetic medicine. Present these in a table with the first column being the quote and the second column being the name of the person who said the quote. All right, let's see what we get. All right, and you can see, here we go. Confidence is the best thing you can wear. Sometimes it just needs a little sculpting. Aging is a fact of life. Looking your age is not. These are great. Okay, and we've got, huh, that's neat. It even added in one by me with a little emoji there. I, I like that. If you look at that here, I'll zoom in there so you can have a look. This one here, sculpted confidence starts with self-care by me with a little uh, winky emoji. I like that. That's a nice little touch. All right, so... Now what we need to do is we need to copy and paste this. So let's grab all of these quotes and I'm going to copy. And now we're gonna head over to Canva and here we're going to create a new Instagram post, a square post right here. Let's click on that, okay. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to um, come up with a template for this post. Now this could be anything, you could create it yourself, you can of course design as much as you want or as little as you want. The key thing here is going to be to have a place for the quote itself and a place for the uh, the attribution for whoever said the quote. So we can scroll through this, you can find something that you'd like, um, you know, using a combination of the various features in Canva, this isn't a whole tutorial on Canva, we can find something. Let's take this relatively simple one and if we now go through and we're gonna do a bulk create, what we need to do is we need to enter data manually. So we're gonna click on that and you can see here that this has basically created a table. If we um, click on the first cell here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say paste, now you can see it's pasted in all of the quotes and it's pasted in who it was said by. Now, a lot of the time it's unknown, but nevertheless, it's there. At the top here, we have the name of the column. So let's just call this the quote so we know what we're dealing with. And over here, let's just call this um, attribution. Okay, perfect. And then we go done. All right. Now, before we actually start generating these quotes, if there's anything that you want to change over here that's going to be present on all of the uh, posts, then change that now. So for example, over here, it's got a website. I'm gonna put my website, so drterryfisher.com, okay? Um, I'm gonna change out the uh, color a little bit. Uh, my branding is actually a slightly different color, so maybe I'll make that blue. The yellow is nice, but this is my actual branding color, and this line, I'm going to change that as well to my branding color. Okay, perfect. And even the font, I'm gonna change that to um, a font that I tend to use in my branding. Uh, perfect, okay. What we do need is we have the quote here, but we need a place for that attribution. So I'm gonna um, just copy and paste this. And now I'm gonna put it down here. Um, and I'm going to make this smaller. Maybe we'll call this like 35. And let's move it down a bit. And uh, make it even a bit smaller. Maybe make it 25. Okay, perfect. All right, nice. Now what we can do is when we want to add a data field, what we can do is we can click on the text where we're gonna have the actual quote and right click. And over here, we're going to say 
connect data right here. You can see that, connect data. Let's click on that, and this is going to be the quote. All right, the next one, we're going to right-click on that, and we're going to say connect data, and it's going to be the attribution. And now, when we go over here and we continue, you can see it says that two data fields have been added, quote and attribution. Let's click continue, and look at that. It's about to create 30 quotes. Let's generate 30 designs and away it goes. And now, look at that. If we zoom out and we look at the grid view, we now have 30 quotes just like that. Look how quickly we did that. Isn't that incredible? Now, how do we actually post this to Instagram? That's the next step. Well, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna skip over to my uh, other favorite app. This is Make. Make is my hub for all of my automations. Um, if you haven't seen some of my other videos, please check those out and you'll see that, that we can post voice notes to Instagram, etc. In any case, uh, if you want a link to make, you can check that out also in the comments below. We're going to create a new scenario here. And this new scenario, we're going to call this one um, quotes uh, to Instagram. Okay. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to search for a module that says increment. What this does is it increases the number each time it runs this automation. The reason that's important is because the first time the automation runs, we want it to run with the first graphic that we made. The second time we want it to run, we want it to run with the second graphic. So we're not getting the same graphic. So we don't really want it to reset a value. We want it to continue to count. So that's fine. We'll just click save. All right, let's move it over a little bit. So the next step here is to connect this to Canva. We want to be able to grab our graphics. And you'll notice up here, just for reference, that we have a name here uh, for this set of quotes. I'll just change this to quotes just for the sake of uh, keeping that nice and simple. We'll go over to Make. We're going to click Add a Module. And over here, we're going to click on Canva. You will scroll down and you will find Export a Design. Here, we will choose the folder that we need. And then under that, we will find the name of that graphic, quotes, which we just set up. We're going to export this as a PNG. And then the height and the width, if we want to change those, we can. Otherwise, they will be exported at the default size. And we know the default size is appropriate for Instagram because that's the way we set up the graphic. At the bottom here, which page we want to export? This is where this increment uh, tool comes in because the first time we do it, we want it to be page number one. The second time we do it, we want it to be page number two, etc. And so we're going to connect this to the increment tool. And what that means is as this goes up, this is going to dynamically change based on which run of this scenario is happening. So we'll click save. All right, so this is how we're going to get Canva into here. Now, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna have a caption that goes along with that quote. Now. What we can do is we can actually use ChatGPT to now look at that quote, analyze it, and write a caption for us. So let's go into OpenAI, and then if we scroll down to Analyze Images, and we click on that, we have our connection, and let's create a prompt. Now, this is not a uh, tutorial on prompt engineering, so I'm going to make this very simple. But of course, this can be much more complex and you can bring in your own tone, you can bring in your own style, you can do all kinds of things when it comes to the prompt. I will say you are an expert caption writer for Instagram. You will be provided with an image that is a quote. It will contain the quote and who said it, if applicable. Please write an engaging caption to go with this image. Include an interesting question and a few emojis. Keep the tone of voice casual. Okay, so... Um, just look, checking my spelling here. I think it looks okay. ChatGPT is actually pretty good if you make any spelling mistakes. So you may catch some in there. But in any case, we'll move on just for the sake of time. Then we're going to add the image. Now, the image is coming from the URL that was just downloaded from Canva. So we want to keep this as image URL. When we click on this, 
we're going to click on the file URL. So now it knows where to get that image from. And then we will move down the model. We'll just put it at GPT 4.0 and that should do it. Let's click save. And then we're going to add one more module. And this is going to be the Instagram for business module. And we're going to create a photo post. Now, when we do this, we're going to put it on the correct page, the photo URL. Again, where is the photo coming from? It's coming from Canva. So let's go back to Canva and put the file URL here. And the caption is coming from the result of what ChatGBT creates. So we'll do that there. All right. And then we're going to click save. And now if we go back to my Instagram profile, you'll see here that this is the latest uh, video that I have here. It's talking about Airtable as an automation tool, uh, but there is none of these quotes that we just generated. So let's go back and let's run the scenario once, the entire scenario. And we're going to keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully there's no errors there. Oftentimes it's good to check things one at a time. And if you don't know this, you can always right click on something and run this module only. And you can do that. Nevertheless, let's hit run once and you'll see in real time. So we've got the increment function that happened. We've got Canva exporting the design. It's done. We've got ChatGPT now examining it. It's already done, examined the quote and came up with a caption. And now it is posting to Instagram for business. Let's go over to Instagram. Let's hit refresh. And there it is. Let's click on that. Aging is a fact of life. Looking your age is not by Dr. Howard Murad. And let's see what it said for the caption here. Aging is a fact of life. Looking your age is not. How do you embrace the age you feel rather than the age you see in the mirror? Question mark. Drop your secrets below. Boom. And there you have it. Isn't that incredible? So you can do this uh, in just a few minutes. Now, what you would do is you would go back and you would set this. Say you want this to happen every day. Say you want it to happen just on different days of the week. Say you want to change the timing of it. Change the timing of it. And once that's done, you click save uh, and you want to activate the scenario. It just turns the switch on. And there you have it. And so finally, do not forget to save your work. And this is ready to go. This will run every day at 9.22 p.m. The increment will continue to increase so that you do not get the same graphic. And there you go. In just a few moments, you have created a completely automated quote generating system for your Instagram. Think of the different ways that you can actually use this now. You could add steps in this automation that file the URL into a database like a Google Sheet or an Airtable. There are lots of options that you can do as well with this. You can change the graphical background. You could put a photo behind each one of those quotes. Lots you can do. So if this was helpful, then please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel to grow. It helps others to discover this content as well. And if there's if there are things that you want me to teach on this channel, then please put the comments below as well. I'd love to see what you are creating. I'd love to hear your ideas. What are you doing with your automation and your AI? Until next time, take care. Enjoy your automations. I'll talk to you soon.